Good morning, everybody. Well, I thought I would just uh, do a quick little video this morning on my new toy. It's a new external microphone for the iPhone 8 that I'm actually recording this on now. Um, had a lot of problems with wind noise, you'll have probably noticed, and uh, also the sound levels change. If I'm pointing the phone at me, it, I get one volume level, and if, I, if it's away from me, I'm getting another volume level. So I thought I would just try doing something different. So this is what I'm actually using, or will be using. It's the Movo VXR10. There is a new version of this, the VXR10 Pro but I couldn't see there was much of an improvement. So decided to stick with the one that was, uh, this, is, this one was 20, well, 30, 30 pounds in total. And it comes with uh, a couple of leads. I had to get a um, adapter to plug into my um, iPhone, but uh, that's not a problem. And it's got this dead cat on top which actually helps um, muffle the sound of the wind. Normally when people talk about coming over here and they ask me when the best month to come is, I always say May. That's partly because of the colour. The flora and fauna are always uh, stunning in May, but it's also the weather. The weather generally is um, very stable in May, but at the moment it's not. So I'm recording this at the moment with the iPhone battery. And I'm gonna plug in the external battery. I don't know if it'll work if I just plug it in while I'm in the middle of a recording or not. with the external Movo microphone, sorry, not, not battery, microphone. Bit of wind getting up here. So I don't know if you're getting any of that or not. I'm gonna unplug the external microphone a minute. is now using the iPhone battery. Just plugging the external battery back in. So I'll have to wait until I get home to see how that sounds. Quite blowy here now. The other issue with this uh, external battery is that actually I need to point it directly at my mouth. If I'm I'm pointing it directly at my mouth now, if I point it at 90 degrees, it sounds like this, and if I point it away, it sounds like this. I'm is at 180 degrees to my mouth now. This microphone will also work on my Lumix FZ1000 camera. Um, it's not a very new camera, but I use it quite a bit for uh, zooming in on stuff that uh, would normally be broken up by pixelation on the iPhone. So uh, I also have the GoPros. Um, and if I'm going out for a specific videoing event, I will usually take them. It's really blowing here now. Actually, I'm going to unplug it. So maybe you can see the difference, I don't know. But I use the GoPros when I am 
doing a specific video in event, but the uh, the videos take a long time to process into 4K on YouTube. It takes 24 hours, and also for them to change into 4K. So uh, anyway, I hope this has been a reasonable demonstration. I will get home and see how it sounds on the computer. This is using the iPhone mic. I don't know whether this really does look beautiful or uh, whether it's because I've got my sunglasses on. But it looks like we're about to get another heavy shower. This is on the same bit of road but using the uh, external microphone. So I don't know how this sounds. It's wild out here this morning. So this is with the external mic. I don't know whether you can hear the plane over me or not. Using the iPhone mic. This is beautiful now, these uh, leaves are all coming. The blue boughs look stunning in there this morning. I'm recording this right now with the iPhone microphone. With the external microphone, which I must remember to point to my mouth as I speak. I always think this spot is a bit exposed. I'm recording this now with the iPhone. And now with the uh, external mic. I'm about to unplug it. iPhone mic. External mic, just as we get another gust. You can see it's uh, blowing here. It's on the external mic. And this is on the iPhone mic. The clouds and the rapeseed look pretty dramatic here. Just recording this on the uh, iPhone microphone. Now plugged into the external mic. Got a bit of a gust coming here now. I'll just disconnect the external mic. Now on the iPhone mic. Recording on the iPhone mic. The fragrance from these blue bars is unbelievable. Now recording on the external mic. Um, the fragrance from these blue bars is still unbelievable. The breeze is carrying the fragrance right in my direction. And as you can see, it's pretty breezy here. Now 
I'm pointing the external mic into the wind. So in my assessment, um, having used the external mic just once, um, is that it does a pretty good job of uh, keeping out wind noise. Um, it does make the voice sound a little bit more metallic, a bit more um, tinny, but you can get over that in editing to a degree. Um, also, the um, the levels need to be adjusted in editing, in editing as well. But other than that, I think it's uh, a good investment because uh, it's so easy to record a straightforward video on an iPhone as opposed to messing around waiting for 4K to process on YouTube. As I said, it can take 24 hours or more for you to uh, get your 4K processed. So if you want to quickly record something on an iPhone and put it up, um, that's the best way to do it. Anyway, I hope you like this video and somebody's found it useful. Um, whether the upgrade to the VXR10 Pro would have made a lot of difference, I really don't know. Thanks for watching.